And then she threw him out. Now he's living in a room off at the park. Good for us. That husband of us has never been any good. Poor woman. We must take a basket of vegetables. Aye, these ones have not yet grown. Not these ones from our store. But it will be good though when these ones grow. <laughs> hey, I'm so happy I could cry. Now we can be able to sell our own crops, you know, and feed our families in peace. I wish we had a bigger plant. Then we can be able to sell our own crops. Aye, that will mean a lot of work. You're very lazy, Anna, and that is not good for our way forward. Why don't we hire people to dig for us? This is too much. Now, do you have money for paying these people you want to employ? Eh? I thought so. You have to work hard if you want to rest and have people work for you. Margaret, don't you want to work? Do you think these weeds are going to approve themselves? Eh? We don't have the whole day. <laughs> Come on, children, let's go. Kisha lets us go to school by ourselves. Well, that's show show. I want to take you today. Come on, Brian. Let's go. Now! Hey, young man. Don't you want to go to school? I know how bad it feels. I used to be like you, but I did well. I'm now happy. I went to school, see? I'm all grown and big. <laughs> I better get back to milk and spinach. Come on! Hey, what's all this about? Brian doesn't want to go to school. Aren't you supposed to be at work? Oh, when did it get to that time? Come on, kids. I'll walk you to school. Come on. Look at how she... Well, what happened? I need to see her. You calm down. I must see her now. Not until you calm down first. She's okay. Thank God for that. But something is not right. I don't understand why her CD for county so low. Looks like the RVs are not working on her. Has she stopped taking them? M Margaret would never do such a thing. Then I have to get her other ARVs. Doctor, she means everything to me. I can't afford to lose her. I'll do what I can to save her. Now pull yourself together. Huh? She can't see you looking like this. Margaret, what is this I hear about you not wanting to weed the garden properly? <laughs> you know me. I'll do anything to get out of working. <clears throat> Dr. Charles tells me that your CD4 count is very low. Hmm. I don't know. But you've been taking your medication on time, haven't you? I am tired. I need to sleep. Yes, of course. I'll be here when you wake up. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? I'm remembering my school days. <laughs> I hated going to school. There was this teacher who made us kneel in front of the class, holding a seat high in the air for 40 minutes, man. <laughs> <laughs> and if that seat would fall off your hands, that's when you'd know how it feels to be in hell. Because you'd give you three neat cans that will sting for a whole week. <laughs> uh, Philip. What? You've not heard a word of what I said. What are you thinking of? Huh? Apart from uh, losing your beard? I'm working, my speedy. I told you, I want to prove to Dad that I'm serious about all this. Could you be thinking about small Shara? No, but I'm thinking about how much work I could get done if you would just stop talking. So, you guys are over for good, eh? Must be D, I'm not interested in her. There's no fire there. Not like there was red. So you will not, uh... I'll be mad if I, well, try one more time. <laughs> Must be the, I'm telling you this as your friend. Small Sharon will never look at you the way you want her to. It would take magic for her to do that. Just give up, man. She's not worth it. I forgot to do one delivery. I'll see you later. What's with you? Uh, come on, hurry! 
hurry up. We don't have time to waste. I need you to come back here as soon as possible. Take care of Margaret's store. Do I look like a cinema? What are you staring at? Anna, Anna, are you are you sad about the children? Eh? I know I was shouting at you, but please forgive me. I'm having a terrible headache. No, a headache is making you to cry. Here, take this. Hey, I can't afford those. It is a gift. You take and stop crying. My head is aching because I feel I've done something bad. What are you talking about? It's my fault. I told Makareta to go and see Mama Pima so she can cure her. If something happens to her, I don't know what I will do. Anna, please speak sense. Mama Bima cured her chira. So I thought she has such great powers. What are you telling me? I told Makareta to go and see Mama Bima so she can cure her HIV. You did what? Trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. That is a beautiful song. Thank you. It will be our motivational song. We'll sing it before every lesson. That is good. I'm very impressed with this class. There's a great improvement since you took over, Mr. Thank Washington. You. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Now, class, back to math. The five times table. Do we all have it in our heads? Yes, Mr. Washington. This is the moment of truth. I want to see those who pay attention in my class. Stand up, young man. Face the back. Ready? Yes. Five times three? Fifteen. Times six? Thirty. Times nine? Forty. Ta what did you say? Class, what is five times nine? Forty-five. Right. Do you know what happens to students who fail? Yes. What do they do? They kneel outside for the rest of their lesson. Good. You have just earned yourself a kneeling. Out you go. Hey, move it! But sir, it is too hot out there. Who told you to answer to your teachers like that? Eh? The Bible says that we should obey our elders. Do you want to be a sinner? No, Mr. Washington. I'm sorry. You are lucky. Caning is against the law. Now move it. Off you go. Sweet Sharon, sweet. Do I go in? Am I crazy? She loves me. I know maybe this will help us see. Now, what do you think he's doing? Talking to himself. Maybe he's been bewitched by Mama Pima. I think he looks very handsome when he gets confused like that. And I think he should check himself into the health clinic. If he follows me home one more time, I'll report him to the chief. That one is definitely going to Mama Pima's. She's so hooked. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Well, me, I'm just fixing my... Would you like some milk? No, no. Are you okay? It's just a headache. Well, milk is good for many things. Maybe you should take some headache speed speed. I, since when did you become a doctor? Sorry, I did not mean to... Oh, I, I took some medication and it didn't work. Are you going to stand here the whole day? I'm just... Uh... You're not going to visit Mama Pima, are you? Because I don't think she's in. I think she went out. Of course not. I, I, I don't believe in witch doctors. I was just passing. I, in fact, I've just remembered I, I forgot something in my stall. Well, what are you doing here? Don't you know you're interfering with my chanting? Well, I was just wondering if uh, you, you wanted some milk. Oh, my speedy. How thoughtful of you. Come on in. Hey, but I'm telling you, wait, wait, wait. I have important information for you. And I also have an important errand to run. But you can, you can walk and talk, can't you? Where are you going? I'm going to pick up Margaret's ARVs. The time for her to take them has almost come, and I don't want her to miss it. You're wasting your time. Do not take them. Why? Thank you so much for the milk, Ma Speedy. I will say a prayer of happiness for you. Well, you want anything more? 
Well, actually, you see, it's about this girl I was connecting ah. with. Had you come earlier, she would have been your wife by now. Remove your shoes, sit over here. Today, my speedy. Close your legs and shut your eyes. Whatever happens here, don't open your eyes under any circumstance. Do you understand? Yes. I think what you want is magic for love. Just leave it to my powers. She won't know what hit her. I don't want to kill her. I just want her to love me the way I love her. What was that? Uh, it's just the ladies and gentlemen of the house. They came to greet you. Remember, whatever happens, don't open your eyes or the magic won't work. Huh? You want her to be your wife, Cindy? <laughs> With all my heart, is that possible? Of course it is. Let's make her my beloved wife, the mother of my children, the woman who will hold chance for me. And Shut up and concentrate. What have you done to my dear wife, you silly woman? Huh? What are you talking about? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something important? Something more important than my wife's life? Eh? Who gave you the right to play around with my wife? Eh? Well, why did you stop her from taking her medication? Speak, you evil woman. What has she ever done to you? She came to me for help and I tried to help her. You are a liar and a con man. Eh? You're not a harborist. You're not even a wish doctor. You take people's money and then you give them false hopes. Eh, well, uh, be ashamed, Chidwo. You are coming with us to the health center, or else I swear to God, I am going to break apart each and every little thing in this house. Then I am going to whip you and I will carry you there myself. We are going. We are going. Go. Okay, let's spell what is on the board. Mathematics. Let's go. M A T H E M Good. Stand up, Janet. Close your eyes. Spell the word on the board. M A T H E M A T C S. What? What is it, Brian? Please, can I come back to class? If you can spell the word on the board. M A T H E M A T S. What happened to I? I'm sorry, you have to continue kneeling outside. Why did you stop her taking her medication? I. I, I... Ah! You just wanted to steal her money and to hell with the consequences. Please, Dr. Charles, after they destroyed my Chang'a, I had nothing left. I had to make a living. So you decided to become a wish doctor? Eh? Where was your brain? Hey, Mama Mboga, please. Insults would get us anywhere. Now I need to know exactly what you told her. It's important. Dr. Charles. You put Margaret's life in danger with your medication. I heard about a herbalist who cured someone. That's just a myth. Unfortunately, there's no cure. But with a good lifestyle, people can live a happy and positive life. Which my dear Margaret was doing until you came along. Besides, you're not even a herbalist. You are a fake and you give good herbalists a bad name. Mama Boga is right. What you did is illegal and dangerous. Please, please don't report me to the chief. I swear I'll stop it. I swear I have children. Eh? Uh, my husband does not help me. You want us to show you mercy when you have brainwashed my dear wife into believing you have special powers. Now she not even listen to the good doctor. So you're going to help us. Mm. And then you decide whether to report you to the chief. <laughs> yeah, I will help. always walk them back from school. The reason I took this job is to be close to my family, especially my daughter. But I haven't really had a chance to be with her since I came. Meaning? I'm finding it difficult to bond with Diana when you're always around. So I should move out of my own home and stop seeing my grandchild? You're exaggerating, Mom. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm asking for is a bit of space for us to get to know one another. <laughs> The voices were so real. Eh? It was like they were in the room, and I swear it was Mama Boga and Matano. 
Kwendoku, you're making this up. I swear, she called them ladies and gentlemen of the house. And they must have been thirsty spirits. Because when I went in, my meal container was full. But when I came out, it was empty. <laughs> So where is your love potion? That is the most weird part. When I opened my eyes, they had all disappeared, including Mama Pima. It must be part of the magic. <laughs> you are forgetting that I'm not Brian or Diana. Believe what you want. I was there. It was so powerful. I can still feel the spell running through my veins. <laughs> Tell you what. Why don't you go and try your spell on Small Shadow? That's an excellent idea. I feel like a new irresistible speedy. Today is the day I get my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these children being made to kneel? Don't you know that it's corporal punishment and it's illegal? I know that, and it is a serious matter. I'll get to the bottom of this. What kind of headmistress lets things go on like this in her school? I'll have you removed from... Uh, Mom, please. Rose is an excellent headmistress. Let her explain. Well, ladies, this had better be important because it's interfering with my classes. What kind of animal makes little children kneel like this under the sun? What gave you such an idea? You know that it is not only against school policy, but it is also illegal. Children have rights, Mr. Washington, and I'll do everything within my power to uphold them. I was only trying to motivate them to do better. See, most of these children have potential. Is it not up to us to get them to do their best? Yes, it is, but not by punishing and scaring them. Do you want your people to hate going to school? No, of course not. But you, you don't have any idea how difficult it is to teach. There is no excuse for this, Mr. Washington. I'm only trying to make this school the best in the district. And that's admirable. But this is the wrong way to go about it. You're a good teacher, Mr. Washington. But you must find alternative ways to motivate your students. You should explain to the children that the better they do in school, the better chance they have of getting a good job that pays well when they grow up. The chief is right. If you set a positive environment, then the more your students will want to come into your classroom and enjoy learning rather than fear it. I see what you're saying. I'll rethink my teaching methods. And Mr. Washington, I hope I make myself clear when I say I do not want to find myself in this position again. What is wrong with you? Do you notice anything different? No. Are you sure? Because <laughs> I'm very changed. It's almost magical. I can you've been smoking bangy with doji. You can't resist me. <laughs> I can't resist you. Come here. Oh, look what you've done. You've ruined it. What? Sharon, please wait for me. No. Sweet Sharon, please let me. No. What I mean is, would you No. Please? But. What are you doing here? Go on. I came to tell you how sorry I am. But this this is part of the treatment. You, you said this was part of it. Yes, well, the thing is I cannot cure HIV. But, but you cured my Tira, didn't you? Tara, you are a fake and a liar. Mama Boga, please. Margaret, she's right. I'm not a witch doctor. I'm not even a herbalist. I'm, I'm just nothing. So I'm still cast HIV positive. Mm -hmm. Your only curse is being married to a god like me. I am so stupid. No, that would be me for not realizing what was going on. There you go again, making me feel good even after what I've done. I've kept this from you. Will you ever forgive me? You are forgiven as long as this does not happen again. Dr. Tari, am I in trouble? Am I going to be OK? I hope so. I'm running some tests now. Your resistance is very low. And I'm just hoping that you have not contracted any other disease. Doctor, can I talk to you for a minute? I've had this terrible headache all day. I took some medication, it didn't work. Now I think the spirits are getting back at me for hurting my carita. What medicine are you taking? These ones. They should work, but they didn't. Now my head is aching as if it's going to explode. Mm. Something is not right. Mom, mm -hmm. if I ask you to give me something, will you? What is it? I have stayed in the sun all day, and I was wondering if I could borrow your 
today, Brian, eh? So, how was school? Okay. Just okay? It was fine. It was good. <laughs> what did you do? An examination. I got an A. <gasps> wow, give me five. <laughs> what subject was that? It's a Washington class. Mm -hmm. He said if I work really hard, I will be a chief just like you. That will be amazing. <laughs> No, <laughs> Mamboga. This Osuga, it is just like I crave this. <laughs> that is Anna's heart. I'm still running. I just wish the vegetables that you planted would grow. <laughs> By then, I will have plants. I wish we had a bigger farm. Then, we'll plant all the vegetables in the world. And by there, you could use our farm. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just lying there with nobody working on it. And then, after we harvest, we're going to give them half the food and then we sell the rest. That is a good idea. Mm. Yeah. But we have to pay for pruning the rat. We can't use it just like that. Uh, I'll first have to look into the legal issues surrounding that matter. But it could be a very good idea. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Margaret, for what I put you through. Please forgive me. Here is all the money that you paid me. I cannot keep it. It will bring me bad luck. I've done a health chant for you, Margaret. Don't worry, you'll be okay. I'm sorry to Makareta. If I'd not told you to go, none of this would have happened. Apendi, Anna, are you okay? Maybe it is you should be lying on this bed. Uh, it's nothing. I just need to take some more medicine. Well, taking these won't help you. Where did you get this, Mama Mboga? Snake gave them to me. They are cheaper than in the pharmacy. That's because they are fake. These are not headaches. And the packet isn't real either. Luckily enough, there's nothing dangerous in them. Otherwise, Anna would have been very, very ill. What did she have to suffer the whole day? But they look real to me. The people who make these are very clever. So next time, always buy your medicine from a pharmacy or a proper doctor. And they must be in a blister park. Hey, hey, I am so happy. <laughs> Aye. This means that my headache has not been caused by bad spirits. This is good news. I'm so sorry, Anna. And Margaret, I've got some good news for you. Mm. You did not contract any serious disease. But with you back on track, with medicine, good food, and positive outlook, you'll be just fine. Doctor, I know I was silly. But I'm going to accept my status and begin to enjoy life. I have so much to live for, and I'm not leaving this world very soon. Huh? Otherwise, who will take care of my maternal if I don't? <laughs> there are very many people who dream of the kind of life I have. So, when are we getting back to eating the samba? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.